What's going on you guys? It is Wanny back on your screen bringing you a brand new video in Greenville, Wisconsin. If you're new here, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below to join the Wanny family today. And today we are going to be headed to work at the Public Service Department, you guys. I am so excited. So let's get going to work right now. It is going to be a great day. But you guys, it has been snowing all night here in Greenville, Wisconsin. And you know what that means, you guys. That means we have a lot of work ahead of us so let's get going to work right now you guys hopefully um it stops snowing but the weatherman said it literally is supposed to snow for two more days straight the plows have been working on getting all the main roads cleared but a lot of the back roads are still not plowed you guys so i'm gonna check in with my boss and see what we need to accomplish today i am sure that we're gonna have to head out and clear those back roads because you know the plow drivers got off of their shift that have been working all night and now i am the second shift that starts in the morning so we are going to check in with our boss when we arrive at the public service department you guys hopefully we can get all these roads cleared up so that there are no accidents and everybody stays safe because these roads are actually really slippery you guys there is about two inches of snow already on the street so we got to get this cleared up as soon as we can so we're pulling up to the office right now you guys we're going to check in with our boss and see what we need to accomplish today hopefully nothing too out of the ordinary all right guys here we are my expedition's like as tall as this building hey good morning boss how you doing today i heard that we are getting more snow today so what do you want me to work on today i just cannot believe it the town is literally a mess there is snow everywhere i've been watching the news it just seems like a total disaster the roads are horrible so we need to get out there and we need to clear the roads and they did not even cancel school do you believe that i cannot believe that principal cannot even cancel school for the children unbelievable well, I heard the school parking lot was a disaster as well. So we should probably start heading that way and clear all the back roads and then head to the school, okay? All right, I got to fill up my plow with salt and then we will uh, get on the road here, you guys. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a lot of work, you guys. I got my plow over here. We got boxes and boxes of salt, you guys. Look at this. This is all salt for the roads. So we need about four boxes and we got to load it up into the truck right away. Hey boss, can you uh, open the top of this for me with your drill, please? Thank you very much. It's going to be open on the top of both of the trucks here. I just got to fill up the salt here. I'm going to fill up his for him and then we'll be all set and ready to go. Thank you, boss. We appreciate you a lot. All right, we're pouring all the salt in here and we are getting ready to go in just a moment, you guys. I cannot believe how much snow we are getting in greenville it is just crazy 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 all right boss let's get out on the road i filled up all of the plows with salt so we should be all set and ready to go all right guys here we go we are heading out right now oh my goodness we got to put the salt out got to make sure we melt all of the ice and the snow here as we are clearing the neighborhood so we're going to work on this neighborhood back here super quickly and then we are going to head out to the school and make sure that we get all of those roads nice and clear you guys honestly cannot believe how much snow we are getting guys leave a comment down below if you have experienced snow this year honestly there has been so much snow this year so we're clearing up this neighborhood right now we got my boss right behind me i mean there is just so much to do we are literally the only plow drivers on duty this morning so there is going to be a lot of work ahead for us you guys so we're clearing up these roads the salt is going to help melt the leftover snow because we cannot perfectly clear the streets but we are doing the best that we can you guys oh my goodness this is just insane thank goodness my boss is very flexible and you know he is a hard worker so we are going to get the job done and we are going to make sure that everything is all clear so that everybody can stay safe so here we go you guys we are going to start heading over to the school right now we're going to check in with the principal and have a word with him probably letting him know that students need to have an early dismissal because of the incoming snowstorm that is going to be coming to the town apparently it's going to be freezing snow it's going to leave horrible icy conditions in just a few hours so we got to make sure that they know that students need to be dismissed as soon as possible so we're gonna be pulling up to the school in just a moment we are just clearing up these back roads right now and getting ready to talk with the principal we called in earlier so he knows we are on our way right now thank goodness these main roads are 
cleared, but these back roads are definitely not, you guys. They have been working overtime here, getting these public streets cleared, but the back roads are definitely in horrible, horrible shape, you guys. So we're working the best that we can to make sure that everything is all nice and clear. So here we are at the school, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at these streets. It is unbelievable and super, super slippery. Not good at all. This could lead to many accidents and you know many students getting injured so here we are everybody we are going to head to the school right now and we are going to check in with the principal and let them know about you know the oncoming snowstorm that is coming to town as soon as possible so we're going to park right out front here and we are going to head inside and check in with the principal right now you guys let's go should be in his office upstairs so let's head inside right now and let's chat with the principal letting them know about this dangerous dangerous weather that is to come very soon i believe the principal office is on the second floor so hopefully we can find our way and you know the principal hopefully will be pretty flexible here so i think it is just right down over here hopefully somewhere over here guys i don't even know haven't been in the school for a very long time okay here's vice principal all right here's the principal office hopefully they're in here uh hi there sir good afternoon mr principal Berger. good to see you um i just wanted to make you aware that there is horrible weather coming to Greenville very soon so I would just advise you that the students have an early dismissal today because um, half of the streets are not plowed in the city we only have two snow plow drivers on duty and you know it can lead to horrible accidents and I just do not want any students injured okay so I think we're gonna have to dismiss students early what do you think about that I know you never like to call snow days but this is something that we need to do okay we need to do this. I do apologize. The students are going to miss one day of learning, but, you know, we got to get the students home safely, okay? It's going to be freezing rain, turning into ice, and it's just going to be a total disaster. And we do not have any plow drivers helping out in the city, so please make the right decision and let the students go home early, okay? I think that would be the best decision, okay? What do you think? All right, he's thinking about it right now. He is really thinking. He's even checking the weather on his computer right now, and he is deciding if the students should go home early, which I agree. The buses are actually already pulling up right now. And guys, I believe he is just sending an email to everybody saying that all students can depart the building immediately. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you uh, keeping students' safety as a top priority. All right, guys. Well, students are going to start boarding the buses right now, and they will be departing in just a few minutes. Um, the plows are going to have to leave the building first to make sure that everybody gets home safely. Everybody, please board your bus immediately. Please board your bus immediately, everybody. All right, guys. We are going to get in the plow right now. It is an early release day, and we are going to make sure that everybody gets home safely. So we are going to be leading the way here. All right, all buses, please depart from the building after the plows leave the area. All units, all buses may depart immediately. Thank you, everybody. All right, guys, we got the plow out right now. Buses are going to depart in just a moment. Um, the salt trucks and the plows are going to be leading the way so that buses have a clear way because there is going to be more incoming weather you guys so we got to make sure that we stay safe and the students also do as well so here we go you guys we are roaring down the road right now buses are leaving the area plows are clearing the road it is just a busy busy day today honestly cannot believe it you guys so the buses are slowly but surely leaving the area and guys it is literally so slippery i literally just ran that stop sign from it how icy it is here oh my goodness this is just insane you guys cannot believe it so um our first stop is going to be at the neighborhood straight ahead and then we'll be departing to the six houses neighborhood where more students will be dropped off today so we got a lot of students we have about 200 students that need to be dropped off so it is going to be a long route you know making sure that everybody gets home safely and guys i just cannot believe it all right we got the bus pulling up right behind us right now and other students are going to be picked up by their parents but you guys police are also going to be escorting people throughout the neighborhood and making sure that everybody stays safe so we are headed to the neighborhood right now we are going to make sure that the streets are nice and clear and that these students will get home as quickly and safely as possible so we're going to head right this way into the neighborhood 
Guys, I could not believe it. It literally is covered in snow again. We just plowed these neighborhood streets about two hours ago, and the snow is just continuing to pile up, you guys. So our first bus stop is going to be right over here. Right over here, we're going to have our first bus stop. Uh, about three students live on the street over here. So this is the first bus stop of the day. All right, we will be departing and letting students out right here. And they will be having a great rest of the day. All right, you guys, students are exiting the bus right now. So let's continue clearing the roads for the rest of the route. So we're going to be taking a right turn over here. And more students will be dropped off at the back of the neighborhood. You know, students are spread out all over Greenville, you guys. It is just craziness. Um, you know, the principal definitely should have just called the day off of school instead of making the bus drivers go through all of this craziness. Having to have plows lead the way through the neighborhood is just insane. So the second stop will be right up here and students will be departing. Um, should be another three students exiting the bus right now and they should be able to make it home safely. The roads are a little bit slippery, but you know, we had a great, great team plowing the roads right now. So more students are exiting the bus right now and we are going to continue heading to the six houses neighborhood right now you guys where more students will be dropped off immediately um you know they said that there is more incoming high speed winds and you know more snow is even to come to town super quickly so let's get these students to the six houses neighborhood and then we just have to drop off students at the lake houses and then we will be all set you guys oh my goodness what a crazy crazy day here unbelievable so we're going to take a left turn here head to the six houses neighborhood and drop off the rest of the students and then we have to head to the lake houses right now you guys Oh my goodness, guys. Students are complaining on the bus that the heat is not working. That is not good. We'll definitely have to get the bus checked out because we cannot have students freezing on a bus. That is just crazy. So here we are at the Six Houses neighborhood right now. We are going to be dropping off all the students in this neighborhood. And our last stop will be at Lake Houses. All right, guys. Here is the final stop for the Six Houses neighborhood. Please exit the bus calmly. The roads are very slippery, if you guys have not already noticed. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. Stay safe out there, okay? All right, guys. We're going to do a quick drive through the neighborhood, and then we will be headed to the lake houses right now. I hear that there is a ton of ice on the street with the lake houses, so we're going to have to get over there as soon as we can and clear that road right now, guys. The plows have not even been out there at all, so this is just crazy so we better get over there immediately i gotta check in with my boss hopefully he is getting to the lake houses as well because i hear that it is just super super icy so we're gonna put extra salt down here right now and make sure that everybody stays safe it is very very slippery here you guys so we are going to clear everything up right now oh my gosh the bus driver is like losing control back there oh my oh my gosh they're like swerving oh my word oh my word oh my word guys the bus has literally lost control oh my word you guys the bus literally just rammed into a tree this is not good at all oh my word uh we need backup at the lake houses immediately a bus just rammed into a tree due to icy road conditions oh my goodness you guys this is not good are you guys okay Oh my gosh, the bus is literally smoking. Are you guys okay? Guys, get out of the bus. We got the emergency exit back here. Guys, exit the bus as soon as possible. Are you kidding me right now, sir? You are going like 80 miles per hour driving these children. Are you crazy? Everybody, are you okay? Oh my gosh, we need all units. We need EMS out here immediately. EMS, guys, this is not good. Oh my word, boss. What in the world? This is unbelievable right now. There is so many students injured. I cannot believe that this happened. We need EMS out here immediately. This is not good. All right. All right, guys. Stay back. Stay back. You're okay. Let me wrap up this student here. He is not doing too well over here. All right, guys. We got a lot of students that are injured right now. We need EMS here immediately. The bus driver is going to be taken to the police station because he literally injured so many students. Excuse me, sir. There is no need to record. Okay, you're calling EMS. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am ma'am please stay in your vehicle ma'am this is a police area only ma'am you need to stay in your vehicle okay oh my goodness guys we got a backup bus over here you guys we got an extra bus here that will uh be taking you guys to the emergency room right now so we need all students to board this bus it is going to be taken to the emergency room uh 
What in the world? My boss literally tried backing up the bus. Are you serious right now? Uh, boss? Oh my word. What in the world? Boss, you need to slowly get out of that bus before it collapses. This is not good at all. Oh my word. I have never seen something like this in my life. Guys, we need to get you guys on the second bus and we need to get you to the emergency room right now. Guys, right this way. Right this way. Hurry up, guys. We got to get this guy to the emergency room. He is not doing well. Everybody board the bus. Guys, we got to board this bus. You need to take these students to the emergency room immediately. Okay, get them to the emergency room. Everybody, let's help up this student. He is not doing okay. He is severely injured. Guys, get on the bus. Let's go quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh my word, guys. This is unbelievable. My boss literally crashed the bus. This is just a total disaster. All right, keep traffic moving. Let's go, people. Let's move it. Let's move it, please. There's a lot of traffic here, guys. Oh my gosh, we're getting students to the emergency room right now. This is just unbelievable. I cannot believe that this has happened. So we're going to head over to the emergency room right now. Um, and we're going to make sure that these students are okay. So we're going to get over there as soon as we can. Uh, we'll have to do a lot of phone calls. Um, we'll definitely have to let the principal know that these students are headed to the emergency room. And they were involved in a horrible accident you guys this is just unbelievable you know it's kind of that principal's fault for not canceling school you know he should have made the right decision and kept students safe and kept them at home but you know he wanted students to go out in these horrible icy road conditions guys the ice is getting worse people are losing control all over the town slow down please guys people are losing control everywhere in the town this is just madness we're putting out extra salt trying to melt this ice but it is not working the best right now you guys people are getting into accidents everywhere throughout the town and it is just not good at all oh my word are you guys okay are you guys okay stay calm please stay calm all right we got the school bus excuse me please wait this bus needs to get to the emergency room keep it keep moving bus let's go let's go all right we're getting this bus to the emergency room right away right now all right guys this is just unbelievable all right guys let's go we are getting on the road, and we are going to get to the emergency room right now. Make sure that all these students are okay, and that they will be able to go home safely. So here we are right now, you guys. Cannot believe the day that we have been having here in Greenville. But, you know, we're getting all the students to the emergency room. Right this way, you guys. Right this way. Right this way. Everybody out of the bus. Let's go quickly, quickly. Everybody needs to get to the emergency room. Doctors are here, and they're going to be taking care of all the students. So... What a crazy day. Thank you, deputies. Oh, my word. What a crazy day. Thank you, deputies, for handling everything and keeping everybody safe. I am just fine. I was just working as a snowplow driver, but, you know, we were responding to the situation here. It was a crazy day, so thank you, deputy. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and join WGBRP down in the link in the description to join these awesome role plays. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.